Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Shelby with Shelby Resells. I'm a reseller on Poshmark and also locally on an app called Virage Sale. Um, I offer porch pickups and I also meet up with people when it's convenient for me. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you my Goodwill Outlet Haul. I got so much stuff. I'm not able to go to the Goodwill Outlet Hall during the week right now because children aren't allowed there. I have two kids um, and kids aren't allowed at the Goodwill Outlet Store. So my goal was to get 50 items that I could list and quickly flip on Poshmark um, or on Barrage Sale. Um, I wasn't aiming for 50 items on Barrage Usually I'll post the higher items on Barrage Sale and just do the same price. They just don't have to pay shipping with Barrage Sale. Um, but there's certain items that I won't post on Poshmark that I would post on Virage Sale that I could just make quick money on that I know people locally are looking for. Um, so anyways, we're going to get right into this haul because it's going to be pretty lengthy with the amount of stuff I got. So anyways, here we go. So first up is a Old Navy size medium. It's like an 810 one piece for a little girl. So I thought that was super cute and I thought that would be an easy like $8 local pickup. Um, bathing suits have really been selling for my local pickups. Um, the next item I got are these just leather Malibu sandies for myself because I need flip flops for the pool. Um, they're not in the best condition and I didn't really look over them well, but I could just put some glue there. Yeah, I'll probably just put some glue in there and then just, yeah, no big deal. So, those are for me. I just thought they were cute for the pool. Next up is a pair of rag and bone denim jeans. And I usually watch um, other sellers, other resellers. I'll watch their haul videos and see what they're picking up because I'd never heard of rag and bone before I started doing this. I think I'll price these on Poshmark for about 30 bucks. Um, that's about their going rate. I've gotta wash all of this stuff and if I have to iron it, I will. So next up, I got a pair of 14 Nike little pants. Nike, kids Nikes holds its resale value pretty well. Um, so I'll probably list these for about $10, eight to 10 bucks. Next up, I just got a pair of little flamingo pajama pants for my daughter. Just a cute little summer cool cotton pajama pant. Um, the next thing I got were these report flip-flops. I need to wash them. You can see these are like a Ross. You can get these at Ross or TJ Maxx, and you can see where the sticker was there, but they're in good condition. Um, so I'll probably just sell these for about eight to $10. Um, locally, those might do better than Poshmark. Um, this is Max Studio, another like TJ Maxx brand. I just thought this was a fun skirt. It feels really good for the summer. I like wearing skirts like this. Um, but I'll try to sell that for probably 10 bucks. So the next piece, I had heard of this brand, I believe, through a reseller that I had watched on YouTube. So I had heard from this from another reseller, I believe, um, just on one of their haul videos. But it's a AGB red dress, and it almost feels like wool, but it's polyester and spandex. But I just thought it was super pretty. Um, I may not wait. I may wait to sell this or I may list it. I'm not sure, but super pretty. So I'll probably list that for about 30 bucks. Next up are just a pair of champion leggings. Again, not really the season for it, but, um, they have pockets and pocket leggings are super in and champions a great brand. And I thought they were super cute. And I'll probably wait to list these for the fall, but I need to go ahead and get fall items to have. Next are a pair of Levi's. Um, the waist is 34, and I will cut these and turn them into some super cute shorts. And sell those. Um, I'll probably sell these shorts for about $20, $22. Next up are another pair of American Eagle Distressed Jeans. Just something that, uh, American Eagle is oversaturated, but it's something that you can sell. And locally, I've done really well with this brand. 
um, they're a size eight extra long. Um, I'll probably price them at about $15. So, super cute. They're also super stretched, so that's nice. Um, next up, another pair of American Eagle jeans. Super skinny, eight extra long as well. And again, this dress. Super cute. Again, I'll probably list those also for $15. Next up are these pair of Nike Dry Fit shorts. Um, so small. I did notice when I got home a little snag on the back, but it's not, it's not super noticeable. I'm sure you can see it right there. I'll probably resell these for about 12 bucks. Actually, I'm just now noticing this. It has some yellow staining there. So I will do OxyClean and Shout. And if that doesn't work, I'll try Hydrogen per Peroxide and, um, Dawn dish soap, and if that doesn't work, I'll just donate them. Next up, another item I got for myself for the fall. Um, gotta get myself fall stuff as well. Um, but I just love crop sweat, crop top sweaters, and crop top hoodies. And I'm a huge fan of Outer Banks, the new show on Netflix. And this said Outer Banks, North Carolina, on it, and I thought it was super cute. So I got that for myself. Up uh, are a pair of Miss Me jeans, size 28. They are boot cut. And I believe that's all you need to know about them. So they are not distressed, um, but they are in good condition. I think, I feel like this might be like an older brand and there are some jewels missing actually on one pocket. So I'll probably just list these for probably 18 bucks, honestly. And then I got another pair of Miss Me jeans. Um, I didn't really like the way the front looks because there's no like fray left. But I figured I could try them and sell them for like 15 bucks and see what happens. So, and these are 24 Capri. Label of graded goods, button up shirt. I just thought it was cute. And if it doesn't sell, I guess I could wear it, but um, I just thought it was a cute fall piece. Definitely needs to be washed and ironed, but it's cute and I'm noticing now. It works, huh? Okay, never mind. All right, the next piece is probably gonna be for local resale. I may list it also. I've sold some Kids Gap on um, Poshmark. But it's just this super cute floral dress, size three. Um, I just thought it was adorable. I was hoping it would fit my daughter and it still has the Goodwill tag, but I did not pay the Goodwill price. Anyways, super cute. I'll probably list this for about eight bucks. So on Poshmark, I would list it for about 10. Um, and I'll list it for eight locally. Next up is going to be this L.L. Bean like raincoat windbreaker type jacket. I just felt like this was cute, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to pick it up. So. It does look like an older LL Bean style because of the tag. Um, and it is an XXL. I'm trying to put more like plus size, bigger men's sizes in my closet and in inventory because I have a dad who's like 3X and I know how hard it is to get him clothes that fit him. So when I find stuff for plus size, like, you know, I just want to get it because a lot of America, you know, we need bigger clothes. I know there was a time. I don't know that it's reversible. No, it's not reversible. So, super cute. Nice little coat. I'll probably list this for about 20 and see what I can get for that. 
Um, so I just felt like this was appropriate. I had to get it. Um, my fiance actually put this on and got hair on it from where he was shaving his head. But I'll wash it. I don't see any flaws. I didn't even look because I was just like, oh my gosh. I feel like I briefly looked, but I don't see any stains on it or anything. Anyways, here is the grand reveal, okay? It's a Corona Polo button up. How freaking cute. With a pair of like blue navy shorts or dark denim for your cookout this summer. I mean, that's just cute. I think I'm gonna price this at 18. Next up, I just thought these were super cute. They're a pair of Crazy 8 jeans for kids, a, a size 6. I may end up keeping these because I'm probably not going to list them until fall. And my daughter is a size 6. They're so cute. They have like, she couldn't wear these to school because they're not allowed to have holes in their jeans. And then they're frayed ends, you guys. The raw hem at the end. Oh, so cute. So cute. Yeah, I'll probably keep those for next up is a polo ralph lauren pair of stretch classic fit size 48 i believe i was super pleased to find these they have little pugs on them and little dog oh dog water bowl with bones in them so cute so so cute again trying to get more plus sizes and i thought this was a great brand a great pair of shorts they seem to be in great condition. I think there's a little mark there, but I usually look it over really well before the wash and spray it down. Um, I'll probably list those for about 20. Next up are a pair of Adidas shoes. They're like the old vintage classic. They are very dirty. I'm going to try to do some work on these. And they're a size eight, which is a very common size. But yeah, I need to do some work on these. They don't have to be perfectly white because people don't care about that when it comes to these shoes. But I think I'm gonna have to get a toothbrush and maybe some baking soda and go to town with these. But I thought they were super cute. I had to grab them. What a, you know, even if I only get five bucks, I'm gonna make my money back and some. So I'll probably list these for about 25, 30 and see where that goes. Next up, oh my gosh, these are so cute. They go blue maternity pants, but look, they have like a little pink down at the bottom. They've got some ripping here. Um, they've got ripping here, and actually I think that is bleach, but it's meant to be that way. And then again, um, some bleach down the back, out of pocket. Just super cute, they're size medium. And I'll probably sell these for around $28 and see what I can get for them. Those will go on Poshmark. This is one of those items that I probably won't put on garage sale just because people won't pay locally $28 for those jeans. It'll be harder to sell. Next up, these were a little, like the, the fray and the distressed part are a little worn but I just thought they were still so cute. Um, they're size zero, so I can't even fit them, which was really sad. They're a Tom Girl style American Eagle jean. Super freaking cute. And they've got the rip right here, which that's still in good condition. It's just like the front, which people like that though. It's, I'll probably try and sell these for 20. Oh my gosh, we have so much more to go. Oh. Um, I got these Hurley shorts, just, I don't know. I should have put these back, but I may try to sell these locally for like five bucks. Next, I got these Xena jeans. I just thought they were so cute. I don't know that I could pull this style off, but someone can, and they're a size 11. <clears throat> So cute, like a vintage wash. It's got like this little vintage floral pattern here. Um, I'll probably list these for 28. The butt is like vintage here. 
Put out the pocket. It's just super freaking cute. So, and it's, you know what? I need to do more research on these because look, this even makes it look like it's like super duper vintage. All right, another pair of Levi's. Again, this has 34, which is great because this is gonna be up there like in the 14, size 14, I think. Um, somewhere around there, size 13, 14. So that will give people that have a bigger booty and are blessed an opportunity to have a cute pair of Levi cut off jeans, jean shorts. So excited for that. Um, next up is just a cute pair of pajama shorts and I think I'm going to probably keep these for myself. Um, just need to wash them. They're just a little bit of pajama shorts. Next up, um, it's like a little Christmas jumper. It's beautiful with like the pleated like pleated here and it's got the bows and the lace collar and the ruffle sleeves and the ruffle on the bottom so I don't know I may even try to sell that around Christmas time on Poshmark next up is this vintage Reebok windbreaker I don't so I'll probably list this for about 25 and see what I can get for it. It is a size large. So that is that. Then I have this coach wristlet. It's like new. It still has the coach leatherware tissue paper inside of it. I think it just has some wear from being at the bins and at Goodwill. So I'll probably list this for about 15. I've really been trying to work on getting more purses in my inventory because um, my first goal was to get more shoes and I've done that and mastered that. So now I'm working on getting more purses. So I got this coach crossbody because it was in really good condition. There was like no real wear on this. I did notice that it had just a little tear there, um, but not really noticeable when it's around you. Um, so I will probably list this around 20 bucks because the inside's in great shape. It's all in great shape except for that little bitty mark. Can you turn that down, please? A little bit. Next up is this Vera Bradley travel bag. I've been doing really well with Vera Bradley. I've sold two pieces. Um, the Vera Bradley bag that I picked up at the bins last weekend actually sold this week. It's a pretty floral print and it's in great condition. So I'll probably list this around 25 and see what I can get for that. And then I got another Bear Bradley bag. I feel like I got another one like this style, but maybe I, oh, I think I put it back because there was wear on it. Um, but this doesn't have any wear on the bottom. The handles are in okay condition. They are a little um, faded at the top but the bag itself is in good condition. I'll probably list this for 20. And if I, you know, accept an offer, um, I will accept an offer on this if it's proposed. So, super cute. It has two pockets on this side here, and then it has a zipper here, and then it's got pockets all on the inside. So, cute bag. Next up is this Cole Haan embroidered Sierra style bag. It was just sitting there waiting for me to pick up. So I grabbed it. It's in great condition inside. It's got the zipper pocket here, two pockets on the other side, the magnetic button and the strap is in great shape. So I listed this for about 65 because Cole Haan is pretty expensive and that is the going rate for the sold items um the bottom had a few spots but not many at all so great 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 find next up is this alabama women's um hat just thought it was cute i may list this over on macari and ebay or ebay um and i may even list this locally as well for about 15 bucks. It is a top of the world hat. 
and I don't think it has a size. Top of the world hat. It's got the little Alabama logo in the back. Super duper cute. Next, I found just a few more shoes. Um, I did get a pair of Nikes for my son, and I got a pair of Vans for my daughter. Hers have cup her Vans had cupcakes on them. So cute. Um, I found these fry boots. I need to clean them up, obviously. I haven't cleaned or washed any of this. Um, but I thought they were in okay condition. I can snip this up here. It's just some threading coming out, but I'll snip that off. But the toe is in good condition. I just need to clean this up. Um, but all the leather is in great condition on these boots. So I'll probably list these around 40 bucks and see what I can do with them. They may not sell immediately. They may wait, not sell until more towards the fall. Um, but that was a good find. This will probably be something I list locally if my fiance doesn't take it from me before then. Um, but it opens up and it's really big and then it goes small. It's an igloo cooler and it's new with tags. So I had to snag that. I can easily sell that for about eight to $10 on garage sale. So I also have been doing really well selling Crocs. Um, I sold a pair of Crocs this past week and that everybody loves Crocs and they're a big seller. I have not washed these yet. So I will wash these with OxyClean and wash the bottoms. But they are a size eight and they're in fairly good condition. Like the insides have not been worn out and the bottoms have not been worn out. They just need to be cleaned. And they've got the Crocs on the side. Super cute, size eight. I'll probably list these for about 15 or 12, somewhere around there, 12 to $15 for these. Next I got, so I really wanted a pair of Clarks for a long time. And I found these Clarks and they're in okay condition, but I'm not happy with the bottoms. And I don't know why I didn't look at that but I'm going to try and work some magic on these. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look that up. Of course, I can clean the leather up. The leather's not in terrible condition, but I just don't know what to do about all this. So if you've ever cleaned Clarks and know what to do for the bottom part of the Clarks, please comment down below and let me know. But this leather, I can take care of. I've got some miracle stuff and I'm gonna post a video on that soon i did a pair of ariat boots and i made a video on how to restore boots they are six though so i don't know if they'll fit me but we'll see we'll see what i can do with these i i feel like i can at least get 10 bucks if anything um but if i could really clean them up and make them look nice again i may list them for like 30. next up are these pair of BCBG generation shoes. Um, I do see some wear on the toe. Now that I'm looking a little bit harder, I just grabbed these and went um, and didn't really look them over. So I may only list these for like 12 bucks. I don't know. I don't know. You see that wear on the front? I may, I may have to donate these, but they were so cute. Sometimes that happens, 10%, Nicole always says 10% of her stuff usually is not what she sells. Um, so I haven't looked up the comps on these, but I thought they were a super cute fall boot. And I just grabbed them. They're Blondo, I need to look it up. I don't even know if Blondo is like a popular brand or what, but I just like the color, I like the style, it was unique because it's not like every other zip up boot and they are eight medium, but I just like the style, like the round toe, but I don't know, it's just cute. And it has like stretch here for your calves. So that's pretty cool. So super cute. Toes seem to be in okay condition and I can work on those. I'll probably, I have to look up the comps to know what I'm gonna list this for. Um, next up, these were new with tags, so I just grabbed them. It's a pair of Charlotte Russe skin tight legging jegging. Um, I would say they're more like a jegging. They're 
I got jean material, so they were new tags. I'll probably for fourteen dollars. Next up is a pair of just Levi Bermuda shorts. Levi's are just a very in brand. People like their shorts. They're a size six. Some people don't like the shorter shorts. They'd rather wear Bermudas. Um, so I'll probably list these for about 18 bucks and see what I can do with those. Next up, these were also new with tags, just a Target brand, Morona. Um, retail at 25, so I'll probably sell these for 12. Um, they're size 11, just black heel. What, baby? Yeah, just hit the yellow button. Next up is a pair of Crazy 8, new with tag, three to six months. It's got the Rick Rack and the little buttons are like little fish. Just a cute summer short. I may take these to my local consignment sale if they don't sell on Barrage sale, but I probably won't list these on Poshmark because the retail value is so low and with shipping, I wouldn't get much out of these. So I think I posted these on Barrage sale for like eight bucks. So like half price of the retail value. Um, next up, I just grabbed this North Face Purple Medium 1012 for the fall. It's a girl's North Face jacket, and I'll probably sell this for 15. Probably won't list that till the fall though. Next up is one of my favorite finds. Don't know how this got passed up. I feel like people thought that maybe because you can see the feathers that it was stained, but it's just the feathers. It's a down Patagonia puffer jacket. So you can see the feathers through it, but I think you're supposed to. I don't think, it's just like more of like a cream gray, like, I don't know. I think it's cute and I don't see anything wrong with it. So I will definitely do some research on this color jacket and see what they look like. But I believe it's supposed to look like that. And I will probably sell this for $60. I'll list it for 60. So, I really wanna keep that for myself, but I'm not going. Next up is something that I found, found was really relevant to what we've been dealing with um, lately in our country. And if I cannot find somewhere for it to go in my own home, which I feel like I can, um, then I'll sell it on garage sale. But it's just this pretty little sign that says love lives here. And it's a wooden, like, box to sign. And I just thought it was very appropriate. Because in our home, love does live here. And we don't see anything differently in anyone. And it's just something that we've always brought awareness to. And we've just lived out in our own lives. So, um, I just thought that would be a good staple piece for our home. Um, I did get these to go I have a I have like a metal pipe above my laundry that you can hang laundry on but we don't anymore because there's actually a window right by our washer and dryer and it if you hang the laundry on the right side of the window it fades the clothes which I probably need to put like a curtain there that is dark so that that doesn't happen but I figured on the other side of the window where the light wouldn't be shining on this directly. I could hang this on the pipe. I have two of them and put my shoes that I sell or like just the shoes that I have listed in these. Um, and then we have other like stuff that I could hang it on if I didn't want to hang it there. So that's my plan for those. I'm going to put all my shoes in those. And then I got this for our house because we have a magazine subscription that Alex has subscribed to. Also, I'm going to be on my cleaning. I have a cleaning video. Or blah, 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 blah. Also, I have a cleaning channel where I do a lot of cleaning and reorganizing. I'm going to be doing a cabinet organization video tomorrow. I should be uploading that. So it's just Shelby Bayless is the channel. Um, and I'm going to be using this for my cabinet space. I thought this was a super durable, nifty little basket. So, that's that. 
I don't know where the other shoe is, but I definitely have it. I just thought these were the cutest stinking vans. They're little zebra vans. They are worn at the toe, so I'll probably just list them for eight bucks on Poshmark and five bucks on Virage Sale. I really am like having baby fever, so I think that was a part of it as well. Um, <laughs> but they were so cute. I could not not get them, even though the toe looks like that. Also picked up these cute little leather John Deere's. I will clean these up and restore the leather and probably list these for $10 locally. Um, I believe that is everything. I think you guys successfully made it through this haul. I'm sorry it was so long, um, but please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I would love your support. Um, bear with me because I am new at this and I'm not the greatest on everything, but I enjoy watching other reseller videos. So if you are a reseller and you do videos, leave a comment down below so I can watch your channel. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. Thanks for coming. Bye.